the second generation Phaeton as part of the nameplate's 20th anniversary. The project was ultimately cancelled in 2016 following the board's decision to retire the flagship sedan, but new information about powertrain options and high-tech features in the Phaeton D2 proves just how close it is to production. Volkswagen is considering a wide range of engines for the new Phaeton, including petrol, diesel and plug-in hybrid variants. Remember, the second-generation sedan will be based on the MLB architecture, making it easy to share engines with sister models like the similarly styled Audi A8. Diesel options will include a 3.0-liter V6 TDI producing 282 horsepower, 210 horsepower, 286 PS, and a now discontinued 4.0-liter V8 TDI developing 402 horsepower, 300 kilowatts, 408 PS. The two engines were also installed on the third-generation VW Touareg, which inherited many features from the aborted Phaeton project. On the petrol front, VW will offer the Phaeton with a 3.0-liter V6 TSI engine producing 335 horsepower, 250 kilowatts, 340 PS, and a plug-in hybrid petrol producing a combined 455 horsepower, 340 kilowatts, 462 PS, as in the Touareg R. The flagship variant of the Phaeton will be equipped with a 6.0-liter twin-turbo W12 engine developing 604 horsepower, 450 kilowatts, 612 PS. The same engine is used in the Bentley Flying Spur, enabling it to accelerate from 0 to 100 km per hour, 0 to 62 miles per hour, in 3.8 seconds and giving it a top speed of 333 km per hour, 207 miles per hour. Those numbers would make the Phaeton a real sleeper, and a genuine contender for the V12-powered BMW M760i. On the technology front, the German publication reports that the VW Phaeton D2 is equipped with an electric roll stabilization system, with a camera that scans the road ahead to prepare the adaptive air suspension for bumps or turns. This sounds similar to Audi's predictive active suspension, although VW could go further by equipping the flagship with the Bentley Dynamic Ride 48 volts active anti-roll control system for a smooth ride and minimal body roll. Inside, the Phaeton prototype featured a fully digital cockpit with a large 15-inch touchscreen and a 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster that eventually evolved into the Touareg's Innovision cockpit. Other cool highlights are the tinted or on-demand tinted rear windows, the ability of plug-in hybrid variants to charge the battery wirelessly, and lots of advanced udosh coming from the VW Group's parts bay for high-end models including Travel Assist, Semi-Autonomous Driver, and Exit Assist. Luxurious rear seats with ventilation and massage functions, tablet-style touchscreens in the back of the seats, plus plenty of rear legroom thanks to the wide wheelbase. The Phaeton will only come with a long wheelbase, with a length of 5.3 meters, 208.6 inches. It is similar to the Audi A8 LWB, and considerably longer than its 5060 mm, 199.2 in, predecessor. If VW doesn't cut the Phaeton out of the range, the luxury sedan will be available in markets like China and South Korea where demand for a low-key body style remains strong. It will also be offered in the U.S. market from the 2018 model year as the top official hinted. Finally, plans for a new Phaeton were scrapped in favor of spending more money on the electrification of the VW Group which proved to be a wise move judging by recent forecasts. As such, Volkswagen was left without a luxury sedan instead of China where the automaker launched the more affordable but similarly sized and MLB-based Fidian.